Hello everybody, my name is Spy and welcome back to some more scrap mechanics. Now last time we left off, we managed to build a pretty crappy tram system. <laughs> it didn't work that good. And as you can see here, I built this, uh, I don't know what it's called. It has six wheels. I don't think it's a bike. But it, it's my bike, I guess. I call it a bike. Anyways, I got something special for you guys on this episode. As you can see over here... I built the war rig from Mad Max Fury Road and just keep a note that not everything in this game is going to be extremely accurate. Um, there's no right angles for the um, for the back here so it kind of looks a little blocky. That's fine. And I didn't get the scale totally correct but I think I did a pretty good job. Anyways, let's take it for a test drive. Hopefully it doesn't lag too bad. There we go. Looks pretty good. And as you can see on the side, I got the um, skeleton arm. But instead, it's the skeleton boot. Yep. And sadly, the horn does not work yet. They have not added horns yet. That's for the next update. Um, so yeah. And as you guys know from the movie, the cow pusher or the cow tipper or the cow catcher whatever you want to call it actually works on my model as you can see it's going down and there we go it's spitting up dirt not really but close enough <laughs> anyways what I want to do this episode is as you can see over there behind me we got the basic of my trailer sadly we cannot add that to our truck because um, you cannot put two objects together yet. They're going to be adding a welding gun, but I'm not sure what that is for yet. I think it might just be for survival once it comes out. Hopefully you can connect. But anyways, I'm going to use this as my reference for part of the trailer or the tanker for the truck. I'm not going to build the two fuel, two fuel pods on this episode yet. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that. But if you guys want me want to see me do that, just let me know in the comments. But anyways, let's begin on this. I uh, gotta get a good look at it first. I don't remember how long it is. Each one of these blocks is five. I did that earlier. But anyways, so let's begin. So the back on the the hitch is not totally um, even, which which bugs me a lot. So we're gonna start by getting our hitch point working. So what I think I did is I think I did. Yeah, three, and then I added a, huh, I don't remember what I did correctly. I think I did that, and then I added two here, so that the hitch has movement, so it can um level out. So hopefully this stops moving. If it doesn't, I'm just going to do this really quick. Put this on in there. There we go. Went back to spot. All right, so we're going to begin. I think we need metal blocks. I think that's made of metal originally here we go i don't know where it went kind of glitched out so i think i did four along the middle so it's one two three four six six wide i think we might extend that out eventually but that's for the chassis at least so six six wide and then i think i did a little um no i didn't I think I only did that for the inside there. I should put these on to the controller as well. Alright, so now we can begin properly. I think it was only about two or three lengths for the trailer length. Hopefully, I don't know. Let me count. 63 blocks, okay. So I'm going to have to count that. I'm going to do that off camera because I don't want you guys to have to suffer through me counting. So that's 63 it looks quite, uh, it might, it looks like it's scale. I don't know. It doesn't have to be perfect because uh, obviously there's no fuel yet. And we don't need to haul around a bunch of uh, warlord breeding chicks. I don't know what they were called. Anyways, let's continue. So we're going to add the middle support. That's only four blocks, by I, I believe, four blocks wide. Yeah, that's four blocks wide. We do that up to the back there. Okay, the back piece has two wide. Or whatever. Ah, uh, whatever. We'll 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 get to it. Okay. 
All right, so I built the underneath side or the underside, but I don't know. I'm just going to do that for the trailer because I don't want it to collide with the back of our truck. That won't be good because then it will kind of uh, cause problems. So we're going to begin on the wheels, I hope. I think this looks fine. Yeah, it looks fine. I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to be begin on the wheels. Let's set up my inventory really quick while I'm walking over here. Uh, we need the big wheels. And then we need... I think that's all we need. Wheels. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, for the wheels, we started about... 7 in. I think seven in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven in. Now, how did I do the back there? I don't remember. Oh, I just literally put it up. Okay. Okay, I see. So this is how we're going to do the wheels. I believe it's like this. And then we have two blocks underneath. And we're going to add two blocks here. And start by doing that. I think that looks right. I don't have my refer reference image up for the trailer yet. I can't really look. It's about half for, or almost half, for the set of wheels in the front. For the back. It's hard to explain. Okay, we did that wrong. I think it's like that. Yeah, that looks more right. And for the trailer, they actually have three sets of wheels. So we're going to add another one. Right about there. And we're going to... Oh, wait. That's wrong. All right, there we go. Now we just got to add the dually wheels. And I'm going to do some uh, decoration later on. We don't really need that yet. So I'm just going to do the other side really quick. So I got the other side done. Now let's test this out. Uh, we got to get rid of this block in the middle. There we go. Oh, a little bit of leg. Hopefully that goes away. Is there something colliding? Question. We can get rid of that. Don't know what the problem is. Oh, we'll have some lag in this video. But here we go. Is the trailer going to work? We might need more engine power. As you can see in the front of my engine, or in front of my um, hood, I added a hole so I can change the engine power. But it looks like it's working. We can actually pull it, which is pretty cool. Alright, so let's continue. There must be something colliding back here. I don't know what it is, though. We're just going to put this up on a ramp for now. There we go. The leg's gone. And now we're going to actually build the tank for the back of our truck. Now, remember, I said keep a note that not everything will be perfect. So the trailer might be quite blocky. I'm back. I got my reference image. Uh... The references are very vague because uh, a lot of them are just concept art or really bad shots of the truck. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our best. So now, um, I don't know the exact uh, scale for this. We're going to try our best. This might take me a bit. There might be a lot of editing. Just going to do the basic outline. Currently, I guess that can be the front of the tanker. Now, I don't know how high we need to go for this. Let me take a look at this and see the size. 
almost level with, or a little over level with the war rig. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go like, this is uneven, first of all. Here we go. I'm not really sure if this is gonna look good, but it might be worth it. I don't know if the front of the tanker has a turret or a guard post. They're called turrets in the um, movie, but I'm not sure if it has one. Just kind of flailing around here. We're just gonna use that. There we go. Starting to look all right, I guess. I think I would kind of curve the edge curve the edges if it didn't fall like that. Can't totally curve it unless we kind of make it not hollow some parts. There we go. I think that looks alright so far. Be good. Sweet. All right, so there's the basic structure of the front. Uh, now we're just gonna kind of shape it out. It's not gonna look the best. It's probably gonna be really heavy and really laggy. Thanks to my really crappy computer. So I'm just building the side walls here of the tank. I'm gonna have to do more um, designing. I don't want it to look like a trailer, but that's kind of the gist of what it's gonna look like so far. So I almost have the back designed for the tanker. Not sure how well it looks, but I'm pretty sure it looks all right. Just trying to add more depth to it without wrecking it completely. Something looks off. I think it's because the top's not done yet. But we'll get there. Alright, so that's kind of what it looks like with the tanker on so far. I think it looks alright. For now. Alright, I'm just going to build the top now. If I can get up there. So here we go. We're going to build the turret on the back of the tanker truck. Now, I don't think we can do it totally correct because... It is literally the size of a car in the real model. I think we're just gonna kind of design our own little turret here. Do that. I was gonna use concrete, but it did not match the design very well. There we go. Don't want it to be too high because then it's gonna out outsize the actual truck itself. Yeah, because people would crawl into it on the movie. There's no standing height. I'm just gonna do that. I think that looks all right. Not like I'm gonna hide back here anyways, so we're just gonna design it for looks. That looks all right, I think. Should I add another piece of the roof right here though? Sure. And then we're just gonna go down. All right, so we got the turret built on the back of the truck. There's also, I think, one on the front, but we're not gonna build that one. I think we're gonna we're gonna call this um, finished for now. Maybe. I'm gonna add some more decorations before though. So we finished the tanker. It's not completely perfect, but it works. We also don't have the fuel pods. Um, that would probably leg quite a bit more. Not sure. I was thinking about building them, but I don't know. Anyways, 
Before we jump into the war rig, we have to turn up the engine power. And don't mind all this lag, it's because there's so much props. And I have a pretty old computer. So here we go. Jumping up in slow motion. Turn the engine up. Try all the way. And like the real model, there are two engines. Two fully working engines. Not really. <laughs> Anyways, let's begin. Here we go. Here's our war rig. Spinning out. Just like the movie. Kind of. Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, it works. It's driving. It's driving good. Let's turn down the um, cow catcher. See if that works. It's not touching the ground because we got a lot of weight on the back. Anyways, there we go. Oh, and there's my gear shift. There's a rubber ducky on it. So there we go, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, let me know in the comments. If you have suggestions for this build or future builds, let me know. And thank you all for watching and subscribing. And I will see you next episode. Stay sweet. Bye.